Paul? Hey, hey, hey John, how's it going? Pretty good, Paul. Um, yeah, I had a couple uh, things. I thought it was pretty uh, interesting how you mentioned, rattled off all these uh, rather uh, silly things that you think it's to, um, that you think Christians believe in. But it turns out that it's really quite silly to hold to your belief. I mean, you believe uh, you're talking about people turning into salt. I mean, you believe lizards turned into birds. You believed that you believe that um, somehow um, the laws of logic arose out of uh, matter. You believe that um, non-moral matter created moral beings. So you believe qualities turned into their opposites. So you must believe in alchemy. See, we can get we can come in here and make fun of each other's views and all sorts of things, uh, all sorts of things like that. But your position is actually absurd since it doesn't even allow for um, the arising of laws of logic and things like that. And people turning into absurd. salt is not logically impossible. There's no logical well, you, impossibility you know, there. You know, wherever the buck stops, there are um, potentially absurdities. Let me give you some examples. Um, you know, you, you believe that something has always existed. You believe that that something is three in one. Uh, three separate consciousness is who always agree. Um, you believe it never uh, learned anything because it had all knowledge. You, you know, you believe it. Uh, it is present everywhere, uh, even though the omnipresence document doc, doctrine has, has a statement about the material universe. Uh, you know, you believe there can be an incarnation of, of, uh, of um, you know, a God man, 100% God, 100% man. Oh, absurdities, okay, God, okay? You, you believe in absurdities um, like that. Uh, the, the, either the universe has always existed, God has always existed, uh, either uh, God popped into existence out of nothing without any incremental change, has always had everything in his head, or it, it uh, uh or order grew out of uh, out of uh, incremental changes. I mean, wherever we wherever we stop, there's going to be absurdities. And when it comes to logic, when it comes to morality, um, if if there is no God, then there are these problems as you deal with, and you, you mention them. But if if there's a God, if the buck stops with God instead of the buck stopping with man, then you have problems with God. Did he create the laws of logic, or does he have to abide by them? Did he create morality, or does he have to abide by it? Wherever the buck stops, there's going to be problems. Yeah, John, well, first off, it's a little bit dishonest. You know you've been answered time and time again on these issues you've brought up, but regardless of that, just stick to, to one uh, issue. But I brought up what we called absurdities in your worldview, and you just said, yeah, my worldview has absurdities in it. So we'll just go ahead and put that to the side. You've admitted your worldview has some absurd things in it, and then we can deal with our with our worldview, what you say. Okay, is, um, that's, absurd. that's fine. That's fine. Uh, you know, I think it's a, I think it's borderline absurd to, to say that the universe is a brute fact. I think it's borderline absurd to say that something uh, the God you describe uh, uh, it has always existed. Okay, you know that's fine. Um, there are problems. I don't know how that's you know, absurd. How, is that logically you, what, absurd? You, that you're difficult. Of you're difficult. You know, and at least absurd. we're listening. At least we're hearing each other, so we're not talking over each other this time. Your problem um, is 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 in this absurdity that you believe that God exists. And and uh, well, why is that saying, absurd, John? You won't even admit it. See, how, how is it? No, he's asking, John. You <laughs> won't admit it. He's asking. How is that absurd? That I believe that God exists. He's asking. How is that absurd? Yeah. How is it absurd? What is uh, absurd uh, about that? For something to always exist is, is just borderline absurd, you know. I, I don't know if well, it's absurd well, John, or not. Said borderline that three times like, in a row now. So go ahead and make your argument. You can't have an argument. This can't be an argument. Uh, it's just I'm not trying to make an argument. I'm trying, I'm trying to talk about the level of confidence that you have. <laughs> Okay, we're having a problem. I'm not sure if you're having trouble hearing him, Paul, but uh, we're having a problem with you talking over the top of him. So we want to give him, make sure he has plenty of time to uh, respond. I'll, I'll give him time too. I, I don't like talking over. I didn't hear him last time too well. That's okay. He's, his cell. He's on a cell phone and it's kind of low, so that's probably why. You still with us, Paul? Yeah. Okay. Go go ahead, Paul. Uh, so can we just, can we saying, just call it a draw um, on, on, on uh, what's absurd why, why, in something believing, why is it absurd to believe in God? And I've asked you that three times now, and your response has been, well, it's just absurd to believe in God. And if we're going to debate like that, well, then guess what? Atheism is absurd because it's just absurd, and I don't have to give you a reason. Yeah, the Bible is true just because it's true. I've heard you say that. 
Yeah, have no. you heard me say that? <laughs> the Bible's absurd. true just because it's true. Can you can you go ahead and um, and document that, John? Or? I, I have. I do. Where? Where have you documented it? Are you, is this another unfounded assertion that you've made on this show? I mean, you're the one who believes that lizards turn into birds, non-moral things turn into moral things, non-rational things turn into rational things. You're the one who believes in alchemy. And then you come on and, and you don't have a, um, a worldview which accounts for absurdity because you have nothing, no universal unchanging standard in terms of which you can judge what's absurd. And then you, okay. but you just want to forget that and then just call my right. worldview absurd. And when asked to give an argument for it, you go, well, it's just absurd. Well, uh, let, me, let me ask you this, Paul. You believe God is a spirit, correct? Yes. Right. And we live in a material universe, correct? Uh, incorrect. Not strictly material. What do you mean material? We live in a material well, universe. Well, creation itself is material, correct? Uh, no, uh, angels were created, they're immaterial. Correct? Okay, all right. Uh, you believe that I'm resting my feet up on my desk and that's the mat it's matter, right? Uh, you're resting your feet on your desk and the desk is matter? Yes. I have a body. Um, okay, sure. All right. Now, tell me this. Answer me this. Um, how can a spirit move matter? Um, like if there's a point, well, if there's a point of contact, then it's not spirit. You might have something um, called panentheism. Right. Maybe there's no matter, then you've got pantheism. Which is it? How does a spirit move matter? Well, like no, no, the exact, in the night uh, mechanics versus of the contact. situation. But the fact that the spirit is all powerful, and the fact that you have a view of causality, which just means that B wouldn't happen without A, then you can rationally make sense of that. I don't know the exact mechanics of how that happens, right, but there isn't any, now is the there? argument since That's I don't know the exact you believe mechanics in, of how something happened, mean that it's absurd? No, you've not shown any law of logic violated, whereby you can call it absurd. Well, you know what, there's a lot of things that um, might not be... Um uh, you know, might not violate laws of logic. I mean, there might be some things that we believe that are not uh, necessarily logically impossible. Maybe it's logically impossible. Maybe it's logically possible that there's a pink elephant in my room that's in a different dimension. That's logically possible, right? So, if we're talking about what's logically possible or logically impossible, there's not much we can probably point to, you know, in those areas. But what we're talking about here is is some kind of a, a explanation, some kind of a mechanism, some kind of probability here for how a spirit can move. But that man, man supposes a, a mechanistic view of causation and a miracle. view of causation. So are you telling me that your argument is, is to come here and assume a uh, physicalist understanding of things, and if based upon that assumption, uh, then God can't cause things? Well, I deny that assumption. So why don't you go ahead so, and try so to So God is made part, part of, partly material, hey, but God has a body. Join the Mormon, Mormonism faith. What did, you, what did you say? No, well, we don't. We don't God believe that. We don't believe that uh, the Father has a body. I know. But I'm just asking. I mean, there are absurdities. That's what I'm saying. And, and well, the level of confidence is absurd. I've asked you, you tell me what's absurd, and you've not pointed that out. And I and I um, gave you the structure of your argument, which is this: uh, if we don't know the exact uh, mechanism or how something um, took place or how something could happen, then it's absurd. But that's obviously false. So you've not once demonstrated that something's absurd. But what you have done, you've admitted that you have absurdities in your worldview. So what I did is I laid that aside, okay, for everyone who's listening, John Lawson. That's because I'm, his that's because I'm intellectually honest enough and to then admit it. You, I said, you were show me absurdities in my worldview. And your answer was, your worldview is just absurd. All right, so you, I'm glad you've admitted your worldview is absurd. I don't admit yeah, mine go is. Go, go plaster that all over the internet. Use that in your next discomfort. I don't theory. admit mine is. And until you can give me an argument for why mine is, then it boils down to this. John Loftus believes in an absurd worldview. Paul Minotta, Gene Cook, Steve Hayes, etc. do not. You're not being intellectually honest with me. That's okay. I, I haven't found you to be intellectually okay. honest anyway. Okay. We're out of time, Paul. I appreciate the call.